I mean, it just drives me crazy that so many people spend their lives talking about what they didn't do, what they didn't get done, why something didn't work out, or whose fault it was, or why they weren't lucky enough, or fortunate enough, or they're envying somebody that did have success. And they didn't make a promise, they didn't make a commitment to even begin on this one day to go and manifest what was inside of them. You know, we're all equipped for greatness. We were all designed for accomplishment. But so many people never, ever, ever accept the responsibility that they have to be great. I travel all over the world, talk to people, I say the same thing all the time, is listen, you're in control of your destiny. You, not someone else. You know, quit looking out the window and blaming other people. Just stop. You need to walk in your bathroom, you need to look in the mirror, and that person that's looking back at you, you need to look at them and say, I have met the enemy, it is me. And the fact of the matter is, we all are in control of our own journey. We're in control of whatever destiny we want in life. That's up to us. We get to make those decisions. We get to make those choices. We're the person that gets to chart our own future. And so when you think about this and you, you're talking to people and they're always doing this whining thing and this moaning thing and this groaning thing and they're not taking any responsibility, you know, I look at them and I say, where's your code? Where's your creed? Where's your pathway? Where's that one thing that's directing you towards the goals that are most important to you? It seems to me you're spending more time whining about what's not right instead of working towards what you want. You're spending more time focusing on what you don't have instead of working towards what you want to have. And you're spending more time talking about what you're not instead of trying to be what you could be. But I always want to tell them, look, if you want to learn more, go learn more. If you want to laugh more, go laugh more. If you want to care more, care more. If you want to share more, share more. And if you want more out of your life, go risk more. Who's going to stop you? Nobody can. But they're always talking about these other things. And it's like they look at themselves and think, I'm in prison, right? I'm a prisoner of debt. I'm a prisoner of a bad relationship. I'm a prisoner of a bad manager. I'm in prisoner of a flawed selling system. I'm a prisoner of this. I'm a prisoner of that. When are you going to take the key out of your pocket, unlock the door to this prison that you have self-imposed on yourself and say, no more. I'm not going to be a prisoner anymore. I will not do it. Not a prisoner of fear, not a prisoner of doubt, not a prisoner of lack of confidence, not a prisoner of previous debt, not a prisoner of a bad manager. I am stepping away. I'm getting out of prison. I'm going to go do something. You do realize, right, that you are someone special. You are, you are someone special. You are a uniquely painted canvas. There's only one of you in the world. You are that individual. You are that masterpiece. You are that person that has the ability to do this. But you've got to make the decisions to live your life at a different level. You know, if your life was on a scale of zero to 10 and you had your hand on the dial, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10, where's your dial set? You can't come gripe and tell me your life's bad if you're ticking at six when 10's available. Why would you do that? You're even 40% of capacity. If you're cutting out every day at five, you go into your friend's house, you're hanging out, you're having a drink, and you're still complaining, you've got no reason to whine. See, this isn't a sometime thing. This isn't a someday thing. This isn't one of those things that you kind of hope yourself to greatness. Let me tell you what this is. This thing, this, this journey, it's an every day, every time, without fail, no exceptions kind of thing. That's how you got to live your life.